Hello Aventuris video blog channel. It's March the 1st and spring is starting and you can see already wow how much spring we have out there. It's so warm like minus 20 degrees outside. Ooh, hooray! Like spring in Russia it's not just like 1st of the March and you can put t-shirt on and go swimming. No, 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 no. It's one of the coldest days of the year. So I still couldn't do much work in my van, it's super cold, my solar panels covered in snow all the time, my batteries is struggling uh, of holding this all this power with this extreme minus temperature and yeah. But I'm glad it's March already, that means that one or two months more and I could really kick in my van building, publish videos and maybe Finally finish my van conversion. Oh, that will be great. The great. So what on the news of my van conversion? Like van tourist news. I decided to go full electric on my conversion and I will do a separate video about that, how to do the conversion without any propane or other gas. And all my house appliances like cooktop, water heater fridge, all that will be powered by my 12 volt batteries. So to the theme of this video, my AGM batteries maintenance. As you can guess, my van staying outside all the time on the street in the winter and it's fine, you know, the cars do the, can do that, staying in the minus temperature, it's no problem. And one good thing, I didn't have any water system in my van still. I just didn't do it uh, yet. So I don't worry about freezing water in my pipes or something, so it's fine. There is still one thing I worry in winter time, it's my batteries. I have two AGM batteries, 200 ampere hours each, and they are huge and hell of expensive. Each battery cost about $500 and I really want them last as long as they could. And if you want your AGM batteries last for a longer time, you need to keep them charged at least 70%. And for AGM batteries, the 70% it's a voltage about 12.3. If your voltage drops below this mark, uh, your battery is probably dying. It's not a problem for me on summer days, I have a 400 watts solar panels on my roof and they are charging my batteries uh, full, no problem. But on winter days, when snow covers my roof all the time, I trying to clean it uh, maybe every week, but sometimes I just clean it and in one hour it's in snow already. I have other option to charge my batteries at winter time. I could start my engine and with alternator power charge my house batteries. In one or two hours I could have good amount of power, but it's not super healthy um, to engine to just run on idle for a couple of hours in winter. So I really don't like do that. And we finally reached the third option of uh, my ideas how to maintain these batteries at winter, it's uh, charge them with a gas generator. You can get a really good small generator, like size of the briefcase, and it's making decent amount of power, about 1 kilowatt, but the problem is it's AC power and you just couldn't plug it in your batteries for charging, you need a DC battery charger. The small charger for the car battery you can get about $20, $40, no problem. But the big charger with uh, 30, 40 amps, they cost about $400, which is, well, it's expensive. But I found another option. You could get not only battery charger, but inverter with battery charger. Don't get me wrong, it's still very expensive, about four, $500, but it's a really great thing. It can do three things. First one, it's a 3 kilowatt per scene wave inverter, which is really great. Second, it's a battery charger. If you plug the AC power to this inverter, it could charge my batteries with 30 to 70 amps. 
which is a lot of amps. And one more thing, if I plug AC power to this inverter, it can bypass this AC power to its output. That means if I connect inverter to shore power, all my AC appliance in my van will work from this shore power and not from my batteries. So I can go to campground, plug this inverter to their power and my batteries will charging and same time all my AC power appliance will work from the shore power, which is super cool. So here it is, very heavy and big box, let's find out what's inside. Instruction, it's nice. It's also full metal and it stays in minus 20 in my van for a night, so it's so cold. Wow, it's so nice. Two connectors for DC power for my batteries. This thing is actually a detachable panel, you can unscrew it and with the cable, which must be somewhere, you could connect it here and put it anywhere in your van. Some LCD screen, uh, status lights, the battery type charger for different type of batteries, they are listed here. It's very important to charge your batteries right. Reset buttons for the protection and AC power connectors for input and output AC power. You're seeing waveform and it's 3 kilowatts of the uh, continuous AC power with no problem and up to 6 kilowatts for a couple of seconds. So now I need to install it. And this is my inverter right now, it's 2 kilowatt modified sign inverter and it works fine but it doesn't have the battery charger and this feature is what I'm looking for now. I have connected my new inverter to the batteries with minus and plus and it's two days later, uh, the weather is much warmer today and I got a haircut and more important, I got my power generator. Let's find out what's inside. Some wires and screwdriver. Oh, that's nice. Manual. And generator itself. It has AC output, 12 volt output, couple of buttons, uh, service doors and switches, exhaust, very cute, nice thing. Generator sells without any oil inside and it needs oil to work, so it's very important to put oil first. Okay, guess what, I unscrew the wrong side. This one I need to unscrew. This, that's the oil. More. Oh yeah, it's fine now. It's fine. Hey, I actually did that. My generator is working and my inverter takes up to 600 watts to charge my batteries, which is about 50 amps. My wires from generator connected to the AC power input ports and the LED status panel shows that 
inverter in fast charging mode. Okay, the generator is running here. And you know, it's not even that bad. Uh, I bet you can hear me. And it's a lot of smell of exhaust pipes, but not that bad. I could stay here and talk with you near my generator. It's charging my batteries. The inverter shows that now it's fast charging mode, so it must be about 50 to 70 amps, which is really nice. And I will get out of the van, of course. Uh, I will left some windows for airflow. My ventilation is running. So I left it for an hour, I think, and could be back. And from the outside, you couldn't even hear it. Listen. Nothing. Nothing. Just some random van resting here. Nice. I left my generator here for about two hours working and it charged my batteries from 70 to 80 percent, uh, which is about 80 100 amps of charge so that's how i maintain my battery charge in the winter time when my solar panels covered in snow and i don't want to run my uh, sprinter van engine on idle for hours uh, with generator it's easy and very efficient just uh, two hours and uh, i bring my power from 70 percent to 80 uh, percent that means i could probably run this generator maybe twice maybe three times a month in winter time and keep my battery charge on healthy level for the batteries thank you for watching the spring is coming anyway and there will be more videos soon so you may subscribe to this channel if you're interested in uh, maybe leave a like and i see you in the next videos bye oh bad idea Abort, mission abort. No, 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 no. I found this. That will help me. Fuck. Why I'm so bad at this? Why?